This is connecting the ICOM 7200 to the LDG antenna tuner. The first step is to place the antenna tuner on top of the radio. When looking at the back of the radio, it should go on the right hand side. This leaves the cooling vents clear so that the radio properly cools. The next step is to connect power and control signals between the radio and the antenna tuner. This is a wide Molux connector and on the other end there's two connections. One goes into the radio connector on the tuner and the other goes into power. Next, we need to connect the RF output of the radio to the antenna tuner. Make sure the connections are tight. And this goes into the TX connector, which is on the right hand side of the antenna tuner. Next step is to connect the antenna to the antenna tuner itself. This should go into antenna port 1, which is on the left side of the tuner. If we're using this radio with a computer, we need to connect the USB port of the radio to the computer that uses a standard USB type B connector. If we're using it for CW mode, we need to connect the electronic paddle that requires a quarter inch TRS type connection and that goes next to the accessory jack on the back of the radio. Next step is to attach the power cable. The power cable has a tab on top and that needs to be depressed when you are removing the connection, the connector from the radio. This completes connecting the LDG antenna tuner to the 7200 radio. From the front of the radio, we need to connect the microphone. The connector has a little indentation and that goes to the top. Make sure that you screw it in so it doesn't become loose. If you're using headphones, there's a jack at the front of the radio. That is a stereo headphone connection. So now we have the microphone and the key and we're basically ready to operate.